Hey everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another video on converting WordPress blog into Android application. So in the last video, we added the required dependencies in our sample application. So in this video, we are, we are going to go ahead and design this navigation draw. So you can see it is a simple navigation draw. It has a banner and it has the some menu items like home, post, contact us and leave rating. So we'll go ahead and design this. Okay. So to design the navigation draw, we need few files. So we need a custom toolbar. We need uh, a content uh, XML file so that we can add all the stuff that we need. We need to display in our home page, and we need the menu that is displayed in our navigation draw. And we also need the header for our navigation draw. So let's go ahead and create all those layout file in our layout directory. So here I'm going to create layout resource file. First one is content.xml. So let's just say content because we don't need to add XML, obviously. So it's going to have the constant layout as the parent layout. So click on OK. And inside this, we're going to add two things. One is custom toolbar and another one is recycler view. So custom toolbar is going to have that uh, hamburger sign and the title of our application. And the recycler view is going to display all the data that is provided by the WordPress blog using the JSON file. Okay. So first of all, let's go here and add the toolbar we need. So drag and drop the toolbar, fix the constant. And we're going to give the ID as a toolbar that is default. So this is our toolbar, right? So now we need the recycler view. So drag and drop the recycler view, fix the constant in the all the sides. So let me just select it and give the constant. And now I'm going to make it as match. Actually, I'm going to make it as match parent and match parent so that it will uh, occupy all the space that is available to it. Okay. So now let's go ahead and create the header that we need for our application. So layout resource file, I'm going to give the name as nav header. Okay. And this header is going to have the fixed height that is uh, about 200 dp, 200 dp. Okay. And I'm going to give the background. So let me give the background to this constant layout. We have this background option here, select some color that you want. And now I'm going to add one text view just to display our blog name. So this is my blog name and I'm going to give the title that is a little bit bigger and white color. Okay. So this is our navigation uh, drawer header. Okay. You can customize as the way you want it. I just wanted to make it simple. So that's why I'm just giving one text view here. But if you want to add extra things, you can do so. And now let's go ahead and create the menu that we need for this navigation draw. So layout resource file from the values here, select the menu and give the name for the menu. So this is nav menu. And now we can simply drag and drop the item here. So this is for the home. And we are, we are going to need few more for let's say categories and one more for posts or latest post and one for contact us and the last one is leave the rating okay we can also provide icon to this uh, menu. So to create the icon, we can use the Android default icon repository. So click right click on this resource, go to new, go to vector asset. And from here, you can select the clip art or icons. So I'm going to show you guys how we can create the icon for one menu and rest you can do it yourself. So click on next, click on finish, select home. And here you can, you, you can see this icon option here, click on that and just select the icon that you have just created and it will display the icon here. Okay. So these were the files that we need for our application. I'm going to close all this 
and go to our main activity here and activity main XML. And now I'm going to delete all this file that is present inside this uh, activity main XML. And let's go to code section and change this from constant layout to drawer layout because we are using this for drawer menu. So drawer layout and I'll give the ID as drawer. So we are not closing this here. Let me close it here like that. And inside this we will include the content.xml that we have here. Okay. So include and we'll include the layout. Okay. And now if I go to the design part, we should see the toolbar and the recycler view. Okay. So now let's go ahead and implement the custom toolbar that we have. So I'm going to create the toolbar variable here. So let me just call it toolbar and I'm going to use find view by ID uh, dot ID toolbar. Okay. And make sure this toolbar is the correct one. So we don't want this actually. We want the app compat version. So let me select the app con compat version. So Android X dot app compat dot widget dot toolbar. Okay. So this is the correct one. And now we can use set support action bar and we can add the toolbar. Okay. Now if I run this application right now, it's going to crash. So let me show you guys by running this application. So I'm going to run this in my emulator here. And it should crash. Yes. And if we go here and check, it says the activity already has an action bar. So we need to create a no action bar theme and apply to this main activity. Okay. So currently this is uh, using the default theme that comes with our application. So we need to change that. So let's go to the value themes and go to themes.xml. And here what we can do is we can just copy and paste this here and change it to no action bar. And I'm going to change it to no action bar. Okay. So now we can go ahead and apply this theme to this main activity by manifest by using the Android manifest.xml file. So here I'm going to go to theme and add this theme that we have just created. So let me just select this. No action bar. Okay. So now if I run this, it should display the toolbar. Yes, and it is displaying the toolbar and this is the uh, toolbar that we have. It is having the white background. So let me go ahead and change that first. So from the content.xml here, I'm going to change the background to the purple. Okay. And now let me run this. And now we have this purple background and the color is black. So it is not looking good. So I'm going to change that. So I can change that by changing the theme here. We will apply this theme overlay dot app compatible dark theme. And we'll run this again. And now we have this white color. Okay. So now let's go ahead and implement the navigation draw by in our main activity. Okay. So now here I'm going to create few variables. So we need variable for drawer layout. We need variable for action bar draw toggle. So action bar draw toggle. So give the name as toggle. And we also need to create the navigation view. So which I have not added in our navigation draw XML file. So we'll do that. So let's go to the activity main and go to the code section. And here, just after this, we'll create the navigation view. Okay. And we'll make it match parent, match parent. And now here we need to set the menu and the header. So let first let's set the header layout. And we have the header layout. So layout. 
nav header okay and we need to select the menu for our navigation draw so this is the menu okay and I'm, I'm gonna give the ID as nav view now one more important thing we need to do here is uh, set the activity uh, set the gravity for this menu right now you can it you can see it is overlaying the main activity that we have we are not we are only uh, getting this menu and it is covering all the available space so we need to set the layout gravity so android layout gravity and here we can set the start and it's going to hide that in the left side okay so that way we still have this navigation menu uh, drawer menu here in the right side you can see here okay so now let's go to the main activity and now let's set the uh, XML resources for all this drawer layout excellent bar draw toggle and navigation view so here draw equals to find view by id r dot id dot draw okay and for the toggle we'll create new action bar toggle and now here we need to pass few parameters okay so first we need to pass the context and then we need to pass the drawer layout that we have and then we need to pass the toolbar so we already have the toolbar and now here we need to pass the two string for the toggle that is opening and the closing of the navigation drawer so r dot string dot open and r dot string dot close okay we do not have this string created yet so i'm going to create that so create the value resource give the same name as open alt enter create the string resources for closing and now we have this okay and now let's say the navigation view layout resources so find view by id r dot id nav view okay and now we need to go ahead and set the few properties for this toggle so toggle dot set drawer indicator enable true and it's going to enable the hamburger sign okay let me just give some simple comment okay and now we're gonna draw set draw listener actually we need to use the add drawer listener and here we will add the draw listener so we need to add the listener that is toggle in our case now we need to sync the state sync the state so sync state okay so these are the codes that we need to implement the navigation draw so let's go ahead and run this application and actually see if the navigation drawer is working or not so run this application go to our emulator and we have this hamburger sign now and if i click on that it's going to display all the menu like that okay so we have only given the icon for this home so it is only displaying the icon for the home and the similar way you can add the icon for these categories post contact us and liberating okay so this is it for this video in the coming video or in the next video we will start parsing the json file that is provided by the wordpress wp json and we will display that in grid view in our main activity here so i will see you in the next video